Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Quest for Knowledge. Today we are going to discuss importance of business data analytics. So this is the model paper one where we are going to discuss all the two marks. What are the objectives of statistics? The objective of statistics are to make sense from the population or mass, to take action on the basis of available data. We need to throw light on the complexity of the problem to forecast the future trend from the available data, to prove unknown from the known data, to know unknown from the known data. So these all are the objectives of statistics. Next question is what is sampling? Sampling is simply the process of learning about the population on the basis of a sample drawn from it. So it is sampling technique. So it is the sampling technique instead of every unit of the universe, only a part of universe is studied and the conclusion are drawn on the basis of the entire universe. So whenever we want to check something how the rice has been cooked, we will check a sample of it, not the full rice we will eat. What do you mean by mode? It is the value which occurs with the maximum frequency. It is most topical or common value of variable which is keep on repeated which is repeated the greatest number of times in the series. It is usual, not casual, size of item in a series. It lies at the position of greatest density. So what do you mean by mode? It is the value which occurs with the maximum frequency and it is topical or a common valuable value of variable. Skewness, what is positive skewness? The right tail is longer and the mass of distribution is concentrated on the left of the figure. This is called as right skewed which is positively skewed. There is negative skewed is also there which will be on mostly on the left side. What do you mean by coefficient of correlation? So coefficient of correlation is the numerical measurement of the amount of correlation existing between two variables example x and y subject and the relative respectively. So it is coefficient of correlation. What is interpolation? Interpolation is the estimation of the most likely figure of a dependent variable from the given relevant fact. If we given two variable example x and y, if one of them is known to be function of the other, the one which is function is called dependent and the other is the independent value. The very important question, explain the various methods or techniques of sampling. First we have this simple random sampling which is referred to the sampling technique in which each and every unit of population has an equal, has an equal opportunity of being selected in the sample. Stratified random sampling. Stratified random sampling is one of the random method by using the available information concerning the population attempt to design a more efficient sample than obtained by simple random procedure. Systematic sampling is the purposive selection denote the method of the selecting a number of groups of unit in such a way that the selected groups together yield as nearly as possible the same averages or proportion as the totality with purposive selection aims at gaining the most representative sample that poses the quality of the entire universe. Cluster sampling is subsampling. Random selection is made of primary, intermediate and final units from given population. So there are various stages in which sampling process is carried out. Sequential process sampling is the process of selecting a small number of samples from the large population. Multi-stage sampling. Multi-stage sampling is under this method. It is the method random selection is made of primary, intermediate and final units. So even it, this also goes through with various stages. Sampling with probability proportional to size. So it is linked. Okay. Sample distribution, the element of probability is bound to be taken into account. This kind of a sampling can be done on the occurrence of the result. 
non random non probability or judgment sampling are considered of quota sampling convenience sampling on the spot sampling so quota sampling is a type of judgment sampling and it is perhaps the most commonly used sampling technique and is non probability character character category so it is the quotas are set up according to sense specified and uh, several income groups are being taken as or several age are taken so that kind of a thing are quota sampling convenience is obtained by selecting convenient population unit on the spot is on the spot a uh, sometimes some person opt for their own inclusion or non inclusion in the sample unit the researchers may select samples on the spot so that is on the spot sampling okay now we'll discuss the same two marks from the model paper 2 which is define the four limitations of statistics the four limitation of statistics is that statistic ignores qualitative aspect statistics does not study individual items statistics laws are not exact statistic does not reveal the entire story the next question is what is tabulation tabulation is an orderly arrangement of data in columns and row systematically in a tabular form and is a logical listing of related quantitative data and in vertical columns and horizontal rows so we have the information in the horizontal and vertical rows but it will be in a tabular form that is called as tabulation okay now we'll discuss the like next question which is define median 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 is a value of that item in a series which divides the array into equal part one consisting of all the value less than it and the other consisting of all the value more than it it means when the value of variables are arranged in an array form the value of middle item of the array is the median when we arrange the lowest to the highest and highest to the lowest so that in the middle form what we get is the median this is important question what is okay, the we have done this the left tail is longer and the mass of the distribution is concentrated on the right of the figure this distribution is said to be left skewed which is considered as negative skewness what is scatter diagram scatter diagram it is a simple device for ascertaining whether two variables are related by preparing a dot chart it tells us how closely the two variables are related and indicates the direction of the changes in respective variables in this method x and y are variables x and y are variables and it is shown in the graph paper and the respective values are plotted in the xy plane the points plotted will show the degree of correlation what is extrapolation the extrapolation is the same as the interpolation and the underlying assumption also is similar the only difference between the two is that interpolation refers to estimation of figure and the limit of the variable extrapolation denotes the estimation beyond those limit so interpolation is the estimation of the figure within the given limits of the variable extrapolation denotes the estimation beyond the limit within the limit is interpolation beyond the limit is extrapolation what is the advantages of tabulation advantages of tabulation is that it simplifies the data when we write it in a table the manner it is we it is easy to understand so it simplify all the information it uses less space when we are writing it in table so the when you write theory it will take more of the time so similarly when you are writing it in a table form it will take very less of the space and it facilitates comparison you can compare one value with the other values one item with the other white item so with the help of tabulation you can compare it reviews the data at a glance when you are in doing you have uh, done your da data in a table the manner then you can go through and with the figures everything can be understood easily and so that is why it's If you found this video helpful do like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching